opportunities later on. Outback Challenge Champions of Australia, Michael and Son Wayne, sponsored by ARB and Cymex, kept up very well with the pace of the event. They are ranked favourites to win the title. True to form, Team 170 proved their forte so far. The father and son team are doing well. Michael and Wayne finished this stage in second place, scoring 90 points. The testing of the teams in river crossing, driving along undulating terrain, using ground anchor, coordination, and returning back to original position are all played out here. Help! Using their Tudor 4.7 liter Range Rover and with the experience of jungle terrain, Team 170 is pushing ahead with its quest for the championship trophy. Wayne was the co-driver of Trent, the Aussie Young Guns team last year, which clinched the title. With such credentials, it is understandable why everyone is watching. The co-driver's task is a very demanding job. Perfect coordination and understanding what to do are crucial to finishing in good time. By the third day, they are among the top contenders. Time will tell if they can keep up with their momentum of consistency. By this time, the leading teams are trying their best to gain as much ground as possible, thereby increasing their points. For the father and son team of 170, this stage proved to be one of their best showings yet. without having to winch across, thus gaining valuable time. The fastest of the finishing wins the maximum points. This, however, is no assurance yet of winning the overall title. More awesome and difficult stages are yet to come. The field is still wide open for the good teams to catch up, and there's no letting up for the top contenders. continues and the pressure starts to mount.
I was a bit unfortunate to drive too fast up the bank and slide off the edge of the track and have to winch, uh, which cost me a couple of minutes. This drawback saw them earning 63 points in 2.13 minutes, beaten by 11 other teams with a timing of less than a minute. However, this did not dampen their spirits at all. The willpower is to keep on giving the best of one's ability. Despair should not come into the equation. to show me where to go, points me in the right direction. And uh, his experience, he knows what sort of country is. The car goes over the best. <laughs> it's just gonna get nastier as we go. Uh, here it's raining on the other side of the hill, so we're uh, looking forward to some more really hard competition to sort the men out for the boys. The battle for Terminator Hill continued. It was named Smithy's Hill the last time around because Mike conquered it in the fastest time. How would it be this time? Slowly but steadily, the Smiths did it again. There was no holding back. The rains did not disrupt the competition. Otherwise, this will be called Nightmare on Terminator Hill. With skills, determination, and the experience to match, they conquered the hill again in 18.42 minutes. It certainly is Smithy's Hill. <laughs> championship crown was also theirs for the taking. They scored 1,289 points, winning by a margin of 25 points over the closest competitor from Perak, Team 110, while Team 161 from Sabah took third place with 1,184 points. 